Hey everybody, it's Jay with reviews of mobile games from Mob.org. Today in the program, level up a fantastic kingdom, perform mad car tricks, fire on jellyfishes, defend a tropical island against fascists, shoot at some zombies, and embark on a gloomy quest. Let's go! The first game for today, Castleville Legends, is from the same guys that brought us Farmville, and at first glance it looks pretty familiar. Only this time, the setting is the magical Middle Ages. That is, farm frenzy with dragons and knights. Under your control is the city, your kingdom surrounded by different locations. These lands are which you'll have to investigate, develop, and trade with. There are unique places, ancient temples, and so on. Places where you can find unique things if you're lucky. Generally, if you like this genre, try it. At least it's something other than cultivating wheat and milking cows. The second game is called Stuntman Steve Stunt Racing. It is about a stuntman who jumps through burning rings and performs other tricks with his car. The gameplay is like this, a side view as the car travels forward along the track. Accelerate at the right time to overcome an obstacle. It has to be done precisely, or he'll come up too short, or overshoot it and get overturned. If you're not lucky, you could get blown up on a mine. To improve your guy, of course you have to collect coins. The better you perform the stunt, the more coins you'll get. So forward you go until you crash. The game is rather dynamic and worth playing. Abyss Attack is the third game for today. Bright, colorful gameplay immediately catches your eye. For the most part, it is an arcade shooter where the hero of the game, a submarine, travels forward while crowds of enemies descend from above. But even in a game genre as ancient as this one, there are still new things to be seen. The main advantage of the game, undoubtedly, is the graphics. The backgrounds are absolutely psychedelic, and enemies are jellyfishes, plasma blobs, and other things you can't really even describe, so all you really need to do is blink move and shoot. The game is really beautiful. Next up, Battle Islands is a classic real-time strategy game. So classic and so real-time, in fact, that during an era of semi-finished mobile game options, it is surprising to meet something like this. Like in Command & Conquer or an old kind of StarCraft, you build up a base with defensive guns placed around. You create units and barracks and fight off enemy attacks. It's all set during World War II on tropical islands. Well, it's not quite clear why there are such battles for a small island with three palm trees, but that's beside the point. So I recommend the game for those who miss old kind strategy games set in real time. Well now, let's shoot some zombies! Death Shooter 3D is a good opportunity to do just that. In the game, there are some missions with different game modes, where you can level up weapons and buy useful objects. Missions are varied. Sometimes you'll sit on a roof and shoot zombies with a rifle, which try to destroy some object. Sometimes we'll appear at ground level, in close proximity to the walking dead, and sometimes your enemies are still among the living. The game is done quite well, and it's at least worth giving a try. Finally, the point-and-click quest Forgotten Travel. And like any decent quest, it's not about the gameplay, but about the plot and atmosphere. The graphics don't let you down here in this gloomy steampunk world. It all begins when the main character finds out that all other people disappeared for some reason, and it's up to you to find out why. Tap on active objects, look for things that interact with other things, plunge into an immersive atmosphere, and explore this quite interesting world. That's all for today. If you liked the reviews, follow our channel, put likes, add comments, and join the group. This was Jay with reviews from Mob.org. See you!